Welcome to the round of Arkansas here at the Stuttgart Motodrome. This is going to be a very um, interesting race as tires have been a big concern. Cooper tires tends to be uh, very reliable at providing tires. However, this track is very abrasive and kind of weird. So Cooper, once again, has always really struggled with the Stuttgart Motodrome. This time they brought a tire that is um, on softer air pressures, not doing the best. Uh, the left side tires, the left sides, believe it or not, have been wearing uh, astronomically fast. And uh, it's put some cars into a tricky position. Uh, but however, it seems like it's been corrected with uh, putting a bunch of air in the tires to make them harder. So, with that, that being said, there isn't a whole lot going on right here. Kind of a weird starting order as John Arndt is on pole today. That's going to be very fun to watch. John Arndt work his uh, magic, maybe. Uh, I believe Arndt maybe got his first win here. I'm not sure, but he might have gotten his first win here, or has won here in the past. Uh, William Brock is alongside of him. I can't think of much going on other than that, so we'll get down to the race. John Hart leads the field down to the green here. William Brock on his outside and a, long, a little further back. You got Noah Hart. He's raced here many times before. Hart gets a great start. Brock does not. Neither does Noah Hart, for that matter. Hart maybe even jumps that one there, but very abrasive track, soft tire, and it's really not showing well here. You can see how slow they took turn one that time. And you're just seeing kind of the... Uh, Wait, they've got to run this track still. They can go four wide here if you're careful. That's Pericles, Codwell, or Codwell had to back out of it there, but uh, Curtis and Sanford were up there. Sanford's ride's actually in doubt because uh, he hasn't been living up to pad car, and I think uh, CJ Racing really wants to get a really good run going there. So I think we see a car. Uh, well, no, not really. Oh, uh, yes, there is a car with problems. D Dorian Bouchard with issues there as, oh, here comes William Brock really shutting the door there on Noah Hart. Hart's actually seemingly getting the inside to work, but uh, John Hart is gone. Once again, another miserable start to a race for Cody Lamas. Lamas is possibly down a cylinder. Lamas has not had a great start to this season, and there's possibilities that his ride could be in doubt as well. Actually, I'm thinking maybe both the KR Subaru for that matter, are in doubt, because Cole Baker, even though Cole Baker's very quietly been in fourth place, we're hearing that there might be some uh, inner discussions with that team and disagreements. However, uh, we think that they would uh, be able to be solved with relative ease. One of the big movers of this race has been Kenny Myatt on the outside, making up tons of moves here. I believe he started back in 15th and in five laps, he's all the way up to P5, going underneath his teammate Noah Hart. Now the inside isn't the best here, but Myatt seemed to be trying to make it work until uh, Polyakov cut down on him there. And uh, Kenny Myatt has a flying car right now. However, his teammate Noah Hart does hold a position there, but look at the nine. Just sailing into a corner there. He is just an expert at that kind of move here. And, uh, my and Hart have a lot of experience on this uh, Arkansas Stuttgart Motodrome track, or Autodrome track. John Hart now has caught some lap traffic with Doran Bouchard. Bouchard came out of the pits. Uh, once again, Bouchard, I gotta make my annual comment, I guess, about him being uh, kind of out of his depth here. If, no, if I were no P.F. Finland, I'd be starting to look elsewhere as well, because Bouchard definitely is not ready for this uh, kind of racing, as uh, we're gonna see what Hart's gonna do here with the uh, lap car of Doran Bouchard, and it looks like uh, Bouchard's not going to make his life easy as Brock now is closing in on him. Polyakov now has caught William Brock in second position, and oh, look at Kenny Myatt on the outside now trying to make moves on Noah Hart. Myatt's been really trying to get by Hart, and it looks like he's going to make that move stick because Hart couldn't get the inside to stick. And now, well, Kenny Myatt's just slicing through this field, to be honest with you. He has by far the best. Oh, my gosh, Brock nearly took himself out there. That was not going to be good. And look at Myatt go, though. He is slicing through this field like butter, like a hot knife to butter. And it is just not even fair watching how fast that nine is. Rewind a little further back as Alex Allen is battling with Sebastian Torres and Vance Caldwell. Caldwell is not running 
overall the best right now. This is one of his uh, weaker performances right now. There's Aiden Shepard back there. There's talks about his home run track of Texas Motor Speedway possibly getting an extra 21st race. Uh, uh, there is talks because there is a couple open weekend. There is kind of a gap, a three-week gap that uh, they want to fill up. So that'll be interesting to watch. However, now we're seeing that Kenny Mine maybe used up a bit of his tires as we're already starting to lose some uh, speed here. As Tristan Willoyd's looking really fast on the outside. It looks like he saved his tires and is doing a fantastic job in the 83 car. Uh, working his way up the order, he did not qualify well either. And now he is all the way up to P4, actually possibly going for third here. As, uh, well, you can see still the outside line, even on older tires, is the best move here. Over on lap 19, John Art, as well as most of the leaders, would bring it down Pick Road as actually we have some three wide further back, but uh, Tristan Willowite's going to take the lead here as he stayed out an extra lap here. I'm not sure what the purpose of this was, and are they going to try all three of them coming down? No, Pericles is going to stay out again. That's going to be a death sentence, I think, for Pericles. As you can see, it is a very, very high track abrasion race, this one is. And uh, if I'm Nick Pericles, I, and Charles Sanford for that matter, I'm not liking the strategy, but they're kind of dealt in the hands they were given. 124 in the corner, that's not good. John Art, however, is coming out of the pitch, but have a big lead over William Brock and Nico Kuliakov. But we're going to see, out of all the cars that did pit, who's going to be the first back out. Uh, the second lap of pit stops we've got. Here comes Myatt out. Uh, Myatt, Will, I know somebody's uh, falling out of the race. we got to find out who that was right there. Eddie Schumpagkar would fall out with tire issues. I'm not sure exactly what that means, but they highlighted maybe a tire beating problem on that car, and well, uh, that's going to be Padcar falling out of the race. It's a break for him, I guess. Tyler Thaver would be coming out of the pits, however, but Dorian Bouchard's trying to come in, and around goes Bouchard into the outside wall. That's going to be the first caution of the race. This was right as the pit stop cycle was kind of cycling itself down there. Great avoidance there by Eric Monaco. And what that might have done is made, well, Five could have just lapped the field there. I'm not sure if he did or didn't. The five and the one and the 82. If they did, they're geniuses, no matter what. Well, Charles Samper and Nick Pericles, I'm sorry if I said that was Will Lloyd, uh, and Pericles didn't lap the field, but they did end up getting really lucky because they would have almost been going a lap down. So they are showing that they might need to go longer on fuel, that is. That could be important. Tristan Willoy would lead the field back to the green here as it looks like there's John Art in second who dominated the first stint of the race. And Kenny Mai in third. Remember, they're all pretty much on new tires. It's, ooh, looks like Willoy caught the wall there. So, oh, Brock and oh, Polyakov slid in there on Torres, who had a very fast pit stop. Incredibly quick pit stop. A little further back, we've got some pretty uh, aggressive racing on these restarts. Maybe some wide ready. Oh, wait, Speedo, way up the order. Great to see the uh, Action Terra team doing some uh, heroics there, and the Indiana based team doing a great job there. However, uh, everything seems to be working itself out quite nicely. As look at Kenny Mayan now working on John Arn. Mayan, like we said, had it. It's one of the fastest cars on new tires. However, uh, Arn dominated the first stint, though. And here comes Torres down low. This should give Maya, oh man, Art made, thing, made Maya real squirrely there through the center of the corner. And uh, Torres actually is able to keep up with him. Not a great day for uh, Team Napia Finland as Sean Angel has had a simply miserable run here this weekend. Angel has not come accustomed to this track and neither has his teammate Dorian Bouchard. Or Dorian Bouchard. Uh, I think Napia Finland is gonna wanna forget about this weekend. Chris Dodds, another car that's starting to work his way up the order. He was down in the mid-20s, I think, or mid-teens to uh, high to low 20s this whole race. Now he's up in the top 10. Great to see uh, Dodd doing some work. Blue Flare has struggled with this track. And uh, Dodd is right now carrying the pants of that team right now because Madeline Mayan has openly said she despises this track. Although she's in 15th, which is higher than any of her practice sessions so far this year, or this uh, race. For this weekend, rather. 
Kenny Myatt's going to actually uh, pull off one of the most heroic moves I've seen in a long time here. Look at this. Will Hoyt makes a mistake going low. Chops the air off Arn. Then Arn loses the speed there. Myatt gets Arn. is going low on the 83, and we're going to see if this is going to work. I don't think it will, because the inside doesn't seem to work well here. Will Hoyt does keep the outside going there, but it was a great use of a uh, circumstance there by Myatt to set up uh, Arndt there, and now you got Arndt trying way down low. This is going to be interesting because I'm interested to see if Will Hoyt's going to get the better line through there. Looks like Will Hoyt got a really good line through there. Not a great weekend for the Audi Sport team either. They're kind of been struggling uh, with this track as well. It's just been a very messy weekend for them. A lot of these uh, teams that do well on strategy are doing very well here, such as the Action Terra Brigade, of Eric Demax and, uh, well, no, not Eric Demax, but uh, Grayson Ace Vito, rather, was up in the top 10 on that restart due to a really quick pit stop. Uh, a couple Metervinis have been well doing well this weekend. Zayn Davidson and Becca Haddix have looked uh, pretty decent. High midfields. Uh, Team Flame cars have been pretty good. Uh, Team Flame cars, I don't know where it's stopping. Uh, Stavis Cortez is at 11th. So it shows kind of where everybody's running right now. William Brock is actually making some moves as well here. Brock is still looking for his first win, and this could be a great day for him if he can pull it off. However, Brock has gotten close this year. He's been impressive this year, but has never really uh, had a car that's been able to jump up and take that win so far this year. And well, I don't know if I think I'm seeing a likewise pattern in this race. I don't see a car that he can really jump up and win with in this race so far. However, the tires are falling off, so we're going to see who uh, does better on older tires here. John Art would get by Kenny Myatt on older tires, as we're seeing the 9 car is very fast on, on new tires, but terrible on old tires. Look at Nico Pulyakov down there as well, making a move on the inside there. It kind of shows how terrible the 9 is on, new, on older tires. And uh, the 98's doing his best there as... Uh, Look at the nine has to back way out of the throttle here, but it looks like the nine might retake the spot there. Nah, the 98's fighting back right there. Great move by the 98. However, the nine is very much struggling in the center of one and two, as we're seeing as Polyakov is trying to get by on the inside, really can't make any moves work. It looks like we've already got a car maybe peeling off. A couple of them, that's Pericles, who was one of the ones that stayed out late. Torres is uh, coming in as well. Cortez and the five are coming in. Ace Vito's coming in. These guys are all going to try tire gambling here. They're going to pray that they don't get a caution on this caution on this pit stop cycle. Actually, the one to watch is Becca Haddock. She pitted earlier, and everybody else, Haddock's could rocket through this field from uh, she was running, I think, 25th before cu coming in. So if she doesn't get a caution, Haddock's could look like a genius. Art is in. Brock is in, and. We go through the order who stayed out that time. Oh, we got a caution! And that's going to screw over a bunch of people, I think. This one was coming out of pit road, and Eric Demax is minding his own business, and Cody Lamas just dumps him! What was Lamas doing? Okay, that's gonna get a penalty, I think. Uh, we already got Bouchard going to the steward's office, and now I think we're going to get Lamas going there as well. Another car pitting uh, with issues. wonder what happened to him. These are the cars that stayed out that are on the lead lap. There's only five of them now. Will Hoyt, Myatt, Poyakov, Myatt, and Hart. They're the only ones that stayed out, so they're going to be the five fighting for the win, I think. Unless if there's another uh, rather silly caution. Staying out proved once again to, I mean, Theoretically, you're supposed to pit early, however, uh, that kind of burned everybody there. So, uh, staying out has been proving to be a good call here, despite what, contrary, what everybody thought. Uh, pitting as early as you can, theoretically, should be the best, but it's not. You got some really fast cars like John Arn a lap down, William Brock's a lap down, and some cars that really haven't done anything like Madeline Myatt. Well, Madeline Myatt's the only car that hasn't done anything on the lead lap. Will Hoyt takes off in the lead, and with how fast Will Hoyt's been on that last stint, it's going to be hard to beat him, or for any of these lap cars to get him. Ace Vito's trying way down low. 
And my, it slams the door on Saber there. That was an aggressive move here. As it looks like everybody's just going to try and see what they can do here. Uh, cycling around down the back straightaway here. Curved back straightaway here. Very difficult uh, track to get right there. It's a flat curve, which actually requires a bit of talent. Contrary to what people believe, is uh, Maya now is left to battle with Wilhoy for the lead here. As uh, Madeline Maya, or Madeline Maya is trying to get by Puyakov, who's stuck on the inside on the inside of Saber. And the 81's going to maybe make it three wide in the center of three and four. This is going to be an aggressive move here if she can pull it off. She's not, she's gonna stay right by the 38. That's an impress, that's a pretty important move there. So now it's Will White, Myatt, Myatt, Hart, or Pulyakov, Hart. But now, ah, uh, that's not gonna be a smart move by Madeline Myatt there as Noah Hart's gonna maybe take over fourth. Oh, Hart's gonna, Hart's got a problem. John Hart's got a problem. The Dominic Carr and her pull sitter early on has, I think, a tire going down, and with how we've seen some catastrophic tire failures here this weekend, um, that's probably a blessing that he was able to um, control that car. Noah Hart rockets around the outside to take over third position over Madeline Mine and Pulyakov. Uh, Hart just did a really expert maneuver there, just to sling both of them there. However, Mine's fighting back. You have to keep in mind, Faber's a couple laps down, so he's not even battling with a couple. Oh, Curtis with problems now. I was just going to say, Faber's a couple laps down, so you got to uh, count that into fact as well. Yeah, DJ Curtis has been stuck on pit road since the pits, uh, since the yellow flag with engine problems, so last week's winner in Brazil, DJ Curtis for the Vanquish Tech team, is not having a great run here in Arkansas. I got to put a preference in here. Noah Hart is very good on these types of tracks where you've got to conserve what you've got. Hart is a master of conservation in almost any race. Fuel conservation, tire conservation, everything. Hart is a master of it. I would not, even though Myatt and Will Lloyd have pulled away from Hart a little bit, I would not count Noah Hart out of this race yet. However, on older tires, Tristan Will Lloyd is gapping the 9, the 18, the 81 and the 23, the 81 and the 23 have been battling for fourth position pretty much since the get-go of the green flag, or have been battling each other for that wise. Sixth place, I believe, is now William Brock, the first car one lap down. But really, you don't, I mean, you could try and not pit under a yellow to get your lap back. However, that's not smart here because of how the tire conservation really is here. And I think Dodd is pitting, I think. Yes, Dodd is bringing it down pit road. Is this scheduled is my question. I don't think it is necessarily. However, Dodd's just going to rocket by everybody on track. However, Chris Dodd, it wasn't a scheduled pit stop and would have a problem with the uh, 41 car, which uh, doesn't mean well for the 81 back there. Here comes uh, Brock and the man. The 41 is done, actually. Uh, that doesn't bode well for possibly the 81's chances. William Brock, Tyler Thaber, and a bunch of the lap cars are coming down pit road, so that's going to be very uh, important for them. However, the lead lap cars are all pretty much staying out there. Noah Hart is catching the nine car pretty quick for second position. Oh, oh, that's Wilhoy grenading! Tristan Wilhoy, the leader, has grenaded the motor in the 83 car. That is not good for him. Not good at all. His bad luck's going to continue here. He had this, he was dominating this race. No one was in the same zip code as him on older tires. And he just blew it up. He just blew up the 81 car. That is not not what you want to do here. Oh, no! Will Hoyt had it! And now the nine car is going to have issues on pit road as Kyle Bashelia, his fellow statesman, is trying to come out of the pits. Myatt's trying to come in. And Myatt's got damage to his car. So now Kenny Myatt's from seconds got problems. Oh, man, this race just went totally on its head. So after the green flag pit stop cycle, Noah Hart leads now over uh, Madeline Myatt in second position. The third place now is Nico Polyakov. So this is going to be very interesting now. Still waiting on Madeline Myatt's first win. Polyakov has done miracles in slow equipment before. 
I remember he won Daytona in a Minervini, which is uh, very impressive to say the least. But these are the only three cars on the lead lap are Polyakov, Mayan, and Hart. So, and we've already seen now, two out of those three have had their teammates have issues. Kenny Myatt's got damage, so that's Noah Hart's teammate in trouble, and the 41 car has had some kind of mechanical problem, which I still don't know what happened. Noah Hart would bring it back down pit road here for the final set of pit stops, we think. Oh, Hart just wrecked the 21! Hart and the 21 made contact! Is that going to hurt Noah Hart's racing there? Where is the 81 now? The 81 is coming out of the pits. Where's the 23? There's the 23. Hart's gonna get out in the lead. 23 slow on pit road. William Brock would stay out for a longer period of time and this actually, well, no, I think he just got lapped. I was gonna say he might have helped him because we got a debris caution really late in this race. And now things have changed. It's gonna be a three car duel at this rate, unless if they all pit, which they could end up doing, believe it or not. Brock's already diving for the pits. And this is Scott Roush blowing up. Tough break for him. Roush was running seventh. So now it's a three car duel. They're all on semi older tires, these three cars. Poyakov, Maya, and Hart, they're all going to be racing each other for about seven laps. Madeline Maya, like I said, says she hates this track. Wouldn't it be funny if she gets her first win here in Arkansas? Noah Hart has, why well, I know he's won here before. I'm 99% sure he has. If he hasn't, I'm shocked. And Poyakov is just, well, punching well above his weight in that car. Here we go! Green flag is out for the final dash for cash. Who's going to pick this up? Is it going to be Hart, Myatt, or Pulyakov? Hart gets a great start, but Myatt gets a little better of a start. Hart catches the wall there. However, Hart gets a better run off the corner. Pulyakov and Myatt now have to do everything in their power to catch. Pretty much if there's a caution, this race is probably over. They might get one more start if it's, there's a quick yellow here. However, it looks like Pulyakov's falling off a little bit here. Fourth place, remember, is a lap down. Alex Allen is pretty much out of it now. As we go up the order here. Noah Hart's very slow on the inside there. Madeline Mayer's probably gonna get a better run off the corner over Mayer had to back way off the throttle. The throttle there. If Pulyakov makes a move on Mayer, I don't think there's gonna be much of a shot for anybody to catch Hart. Hart has just been glued to this track so far this race. Or so far this final stint. He's been in the top 10 this whole race, but I'm looking at the 81 car. 81's harder into the corner than Hart. Got a better one and two that time. It could be either of these two cars. I don't think Pulyakov's got the car to win this race. Unless if uh, these two wreck each other. Mayan really hard through that corner. Madeline Myatt doing an epic job there with only a handful of laps to go over. Hart's a little better off. One and a half laps to go and the margin has not changed. Noah Hart and Madeline Myatt. Myatt's within striking distance though, but the white flag's in the air and I don't think Madeline Myatt's got a car to beat him, to beat Hart. Final lap for Noah Hart here. And this is all the marbles here for Noah Hart. And actually, Myatt has losing a bit of ground to Noah Hart now. Hart just turned on the afterburners. And I don't think there's going to be much of a shot for Madeline Myatt. Noah Hart has been one of the best ever on this track. And it looks like he's going to chalk up another name win here for Noah Hart here at this track. He doesn't have long to go now. Off turn four. Noah Hart makes it. A win here in Arkansas. Madeline Maya comes across second. Third place to Nico Poyakov. Fourth is actually going to go to um, Alex Allen. Fifth to uh, Vincent Allen. Remember, they're a lap down. Sixth to Pericles. Seventh to Codwell. Double top ten there for FNS Marlon. Oh, the 82 and the Ace Vito have wrecked. Across the line. And that was a rather silly incident there. I think the 82 broke down. Similar to Maya. And that is the case. The 82 lost a tire going across the line. And the 60 didn't know that. 
and drove into the back of him. So, an, or no, it wasn't a tire, it was another mechanical problem. So two races in a row, a car breaks down after the start finish line. Anyway, let's go down to your full finishing results. Noah Hart is your winner today. Madeline Myatt, second. Nico Poyakov, third. Alex Allen and Vincent Allen, uh, nephew, or uh, nephew and uh, uncle, or uncle and nephew, fourth and fifth. Pericles, sixth before crashing, or before getting crashed because his car, I guess, blew up across the line. Seventh to Codwell, eighth to Shepard, ninth to Sanford, tenth to Rowe after getting spun on pit road by Hart. 11th to Lamas, 12th to Angel, 13th to Shock, 14th to Monaco, 15th to Baker, 16th to Demex, 17th to Freeze, 18th to Pichelia, 19th to Torres, 20th to Haddix, 21st to Cortez, 22nd to Terran Blake, 23rd to William Brock. He had a quick car and it's kind of sad that he's down in 23rd. Bobby Jones in 24th, Ace Vito 25th, Saber 26th, Davidson 27th, uh, Baskinger 28th, Arch 29th. 30th for Kenny Myatt, despite being probably the best car on the track. Myatt, Kenny Myatt's going to come across the line 30th. Uh, 31st to Roush, who uh, blew up. 32nd to Will Hoyt, who, if Myatt didn't have the best car, Will Hoyt did. Uh, 33rd to Dodd, 34th to uh, Curtis, 35th to Padcar, and 36th to Bouchard. Let's get out of your points. So after the round of Arkansas, it is a Myatt one two in the points with Kenny Myatt leading with 80 points. Madeline Myatt one point behind in second. Eddie Schumpadkar loses a position in the championship third. Pericles up two to fourth. Curtis to fifth position. Baskinger down to sixth. Rowe down to seventh. Baker down to eighth. Baker didn't have a great race. Angel, believe it or not, up two despite not being great. Uh, Noah Hart up eight. Dean in 10th. Noah Hart is on a charge up the order. Um, Sebastian Torres, 11th. Uh, Shock Jr., 12th. Charles Sanford, 13th. Alex Allen, 14th. Aiden Shepard, 15th. Darren Blake, down to 16th. Uh, Brock to 17th. Dodd to 18th. Cortez to 19th. Roush to 20th. Uh, Ace Vito to 21st. Michelle to 22nd. Uh, Will Hoyt to 23rd, who... Still bad run by Will Hoyt, despite being pretty quick. 24th to Monaco, 25th to Poyakov, 26th to Vincent Allen, 27th to Freeze, 28th to Vance Codwell, 29th to Haddix, 30th to Eric Demax, 31st to Bobby Jones, 32nd to Dorian Bouchard, 33rd to John Arn, who shouldn't be down that low, considering his runs have been really good. 34th to Zayden Davidson, 35th to Saber, another driver who I saw did better than that, and 36th to Lamas, who finally uh, got out of the negatives. However, he is on a final warning due to um, his second big incident. If he gets one more big incident, uh, they are going to suspend him for a race or give him a race ban. And um, other drivers got suspended or got points, penalties as well. Dorian Bouchard got one for his little incident. And there's a small two point penalty awarded to the Bichelia team for an unsafe release. Um, that's pretty much it. Noah Hart surprisingly didn't get an unsafe release penalty. I'm guessing William Williams, the uh, ch uh, competition director, didn't see fit to have one. However, there will be some. Uh, some very interesting comments about that, I think, as we approach the round of uh, New Mexico at the Santa Fe International Raceway next week.